We've all known each other an awful long time. Myself, Pete and Josh have been friends since we were very small because our parents knew each other. So ever since we were, you know, incredibly young, we've uh, been hanging around together, going over to each other's houses. And uh, uh, Ross the same. Then Ross it was friends with Josh's kind of family as well, connections there. So um, yeah, so from a very young age, we all showed an interest in music. I've been drumming since I was three, and the lads have been playing guitars and stuff since they were about six or seven. So um, <laughs> yes. Yeah, and, <laughs> and um, so yeah, we all showed an interest in music at an early age, but as we got into our teens, I suppose, we really started digging into the music that was around us as we were growing up, because we all came from very musical houses, so we got interested in rhythm and blues, and early 50s rock and roll, and punk, and new wave, and um, a lot of kind of garage bands and stuff, so like Dr. Feelgood, and uh, the early Rolling Stone stuff, uh, the Yardbirds, the Animals, Eddie and the Hot Rods, Rock Pile, the Undertones, uh, Johnny Thunders and the Heartbreakers, and then the original uh, blues people like Chuck Berry, Bo Diddley, Howlin' Wolf, Muddy Waters, Little Walter, uh, the list goes on in that respect. So that's how, so like, you know, that's basically how we got it. We just got interested into listening to a lot of this music uh, from a very young age, and then started gigging around our hometown, then down in Dublin, then started doing gigs in London, and then suddenly ended up here. Well, for the first record, we um, we recorded down in a little studio called Yellowfish Studios in Sussex in England. Uh, we recorded with Chris Thomas, uh, who produced the Sex Pistols and Paul McCartney and many of bands. Basically, the way we recorded was uh, mainly live. Uh, we do like the guitar, drums and bass uh, live and then do just whatever overdubs were needed to be done. So maybe a vocal or some a guitar solo or some percussion. And that was really it. The process sort of took about... Uh, Really, sort of like 15 days in total, but spread out over like three or four months because we were constantly gigging. So we'd sort of go to the studio for like two or three days and then do a couple of tracks and then go uh, do some gigs for three or four days and come back. And it was kind of that process. So hopefully, we'll get the second album out uh, early next year. Um, we've been writing a lot recently. So uh, we're doing some demos at the minute as well. So hopefully, we'll get recording hopefully in like the, you know, the autumn, the fall. In the fall, uh, hopefully we'll get recording in maybe September or October and get it out early next year, if possible. That's just a reference to a lot of bands that spell their name wrong intentionally, i.e. the Beatles or the Birds or bands like that. You know, the Bird particularly actually turned the I into a Y, so you know that's just a th it's just a thing that. Um, what? Sorry. Trampoline, yeah, Jack's fan of trampoline. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Trampoline from London, yeah. Um, so uh, Leah, yeah, so a lot of um, a lot of bands spell their name wrong, so that was just a reference to that kind of little bit of rock and roll lineage or whatever. As time goes on, the relevancy of it drops as we get older. That's about our age, we'll go, it's just quiet, you know. It, well, quiet, because I mean, I'm 18 and Pete's 18, so it's the most normal thing for two 18-year-olds to be in a band. So. See, like a lot of young bands as well, you can't really call them young bands if they're in their 20s or mid-20s. No, that's not a young band, that's just a, your general band. But even I think the majority of, you know, current bands, you know, they're only about three years older than us. So people, you know, people still make a huge deal out of it. If someone, if someone's like, you know, 21 or 22, that's completely normal to be in a band. But if it's two or three years younger, people, you know, raise eyebrows. I think people think it gives them license as well to look down slightly and go, "Oh, it's just kids messing about." Whereas it's we're, we're valid, okay? Please, we're valid. <laughs> um, yeah, so we just don't see it as a relevant point whatsoever. We're big fans of the Monkees, big fans of all the albums and their whole attitude and that. Um, the, yeah, we we just we got asked by by. Their management, their, their management conduct, their management. Um, their people call our people, and um, our people call them back and left a voicemail. Um, no, yeah, we, um, yeah, we just got, we found out in in summer of last year that, that they wanted us to support in the <coughs> in the fall tour, and um, they, uh, yeah, we supported them in the UK and in Europe as well, and yeah, we, really, we had a really fantastic time. They're really nice guys and really unassuming and just you know as well. Them today as well, um, but yeah, really, really nice. Good to play the new crowds and all that as well, and yeah, just had a great time. Yeah, be ready. Oh, oh, yes. Hello, are the stripes, and you're watching the carrot blog. Oh, you